how-to video for SAP Business One for business object counts. Uh, the first thing we're going to discuss is what is a business object count and why are they important? A business object count is essentially a KPI that sits on your cockpit um, but acts a little bit different. So as opposed to a KPI where it shows you a number, uh, this number is going to be clickable and that uh, clickable number is going to bring up a separate screen. Now what shows up on that separate screen is based off of a query. So to create these and a prerequisite for building these is having a, a knowledge of basic query writing. Uh, so based on your query it can bring up uh, a number of different items uh, and I'll show you that uh, shortly here. Now why are these important? Um, uh, so for me personally when I log in in the morning I like to see uh, a certain number of tasks or um, if I have a responsibility for my job uh, I like to see um, what's out there as far as what do I need to complete for the day. So uh, in this scenario what we'll do is I'm going to show you a, a business object count that I've already created um, which shows items below minimum stock. So let's say that my job is making sure that I have these um, items in stock at all times. But as opposed to a KPI that just shows me a number, this is going to show me a number four. So it's going to say there's four items below minimum stock. And when I click on it, it's going to open up a separate screen to show me what items are below minimum stock. Um, sort of a quick link to this. So it's going to show me the item name, the item code, what do I have on hand, and what's the minimum level. Uh, now, if, uh, like I said, if it's my job to replenish these, if I go in and put it in order and I replenish the stock, it's going to fall off of this report. Now, these columns here are based off the query that I wrote. Now, to set these up, we're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to Queries, and we're going to go to Query Manager. And we're going to make sure that we have a query that we're going to use. So we're going to set up a new one. And so for this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an, and build a business object count for an open sales quotations. I'm going to open this up and show you what our query looks like. So a very simple query to say, um, I want to see the document number, I want to see the customer name, and I want to see the due date, and the document status is open. So we have our query. Next step, we're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Cockpit and we're going to go to Count Widget Setup. So in here, this is where we're going to set up our code. So let's say, I'm just going to call it Open Quote. And this is going to be our, our title of our uh, business object count that you'll see on your cockpit. So let's say, Number of Open Sales Quotes. Now to set up our business object count, we're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to Cockpit, and we're going to go to Count Widget Setup. Now we're going to create a, um, a business object count for our number of open sales quotes, so we're going to have to give this a code and a name. First we're going to click Add to open it up. So let's say Open Quote as the code. And the next thing we're going to put in is our name, and the name is going to be the uh, the title of the business object count that you're going to see on your um, on your desktop here. Number of open sales quotes. Now here's where we can give it a description if you'd like to, or and then we're going to link a query to it. And here's the key. We're going to use our number of open sales quotes, so open sales quotations. Click OK. Now to create the business object count, we're going to go to Tools, Cockpit, count widget setup. We're going to click add and we're going to give it a code. We're going to call this open quote and we're going to give it a name and the name is going to show up as the title on your, your cockpit when you're looking at this. So let's call this number of open sales quotes. And you can give this a description if you'd like and then we're going to link it to our query. So we were using a number of open sales quotes. So here's our query that we just looked at, open sales quotations. Click OK, and we hit Add. It's going to add it to the system. Now when it's been added to the system, our business object count has been created. We have to add it to our, our cockpit here. So to add, we're going to click our pencil and our plus button. Now an easy way to get to this, we can click on here, go to business object counts. Now we need to add our business object count to our desktop. And to do that, what we'll do is we're going to click on the pencil here. We're going to hit plus. 
Now a quick way to find this, we can filter it down, we can click the all, and we can filter it down by just business object counts. Now once our list is loaded here, we can look down through, and here is our uh, business object count that we just created. So we're going to add that to the system. We'll back out, check mark, update our cockpit. And now, as you can see on our cockpit here, we have a number of open sales quotes. And here's our number of nine. And I can click on that, and it's going to show me that I have nine open sales quotes. And then I can drill down into these documents, and I can continue my work from there. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please reach out to us here at Support One with any questions. Click on the link to subscribe for more content.